Good morning. So I am in the middle of making a smoothie. I currently have some mango, some banana. I have some pineapple going in. Chocolate, and that was in the freezer. I had it like slightly thought before I put it in there so it's actually grind in there. I'm gonna huck in an extra large leaf of that. And I'm also gonna chuck in a top of celery um, from yesterday as well. I'm gonna put in a splash of orange juice, a squirt of hemp seed oil, some maca powder, chia seeds, and flax seeds as usual, and some hemp protein. And I'm gonna use some coconut water just to top up the liquid. So I just want to put on the tiniest bit of skin and eye makeup. I pretty much just want to accentuate what I have. I don't want to do anything where it's like, oh, she's full on wearing makeup. I just want to do a little bit so that I don't look like a dead person. Um, like I said last night, I am helping out Stacy and Christy from the Thinker Girls podcast. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're filming, but they are filming something at the gym and it is like a gym, I would assume comedy based video. So I guess we will have to see what ends up happening. But yeah, that's what I am doing for makeup. I'm going to use a brown mascara just so that it's not really the focus. I just want my lashes to look like lashes instead of like little wispy blonde things. I'm gonna use the Ultimate Lash Mascara from Marcel. Um, this is a Canadian brand. I don't know if you guys have come across it ever, but it's actually a really nice mascara. It's not, um, very intense and it's kind of like a darker brown that's what the wand looks like but yeah i like it it's a drugstore product see where i'm getting at yeah and clean up any spots that i fucked up with with the q-tip because i wasn't really paying much attention and fucked up a little but that's life such is life my friends all right I am going to use some Gimme Brow and I'm going to use the tiniest bit of this Essence Pencil. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm using a tiny bit of the Mineralized Skin Finish just on my finger on the inner portion of my eyeball. Actually, I lied. That's not going to be the last thing I do. Fuck those birds. Okay, I was going to try and show you yesterday, but they flew away. Outside, right outside my window on the drain pipe. For whatever reason, that's the new meeting place for the birds in my area, and the little fucks just sit there and like tweet and peck and land and like scuff the metal. It is so annoying. I'm using a pencil. <laughs> this is the Stila pencil Ow. in Topaz. Oh, I forgot about hair. Okay, um, I think I might just leave it in a pony. Lazy girl's guide to fixing a bump. Brush it back. Grab a bobby pin, pin it down, and hope to God that no one's taller than you and can see it. That was best time beauty spray. All right, let's go. We have both had the absolute fucking worst allergies for like maybe three weeks. You've been worse than me, but fuck, has it been bad? Hey, you this season. <gasps> and we went to the wrong gym. Shit, back in the car. Watching. I've told them to channel you at your Super intense and really full on and 
they kind of go to the class and they kind of fake it, you know, and they're like, up your resistance. And you're like, yeah, this is really hard. And they don't actually do it. That was kind of the idea of the video. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how it turned out. It's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be pretty funny with all the, um, like, cuts and, like, actual editing with it. So it should be good. But, yeah, headed home now. I'm going to shower because I had to, like, dump water all over me. We did takes for, like, an hour and a bit. And I was actually biking because I thought, why not actually get some exercise while I'm here. So I'm going to shower and then I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Maybe film some stuff. Um, I do have the food video to edit, so I'm definitely going to do that. But yeah, we'll see. I got some broccoli. I am just going over yesterday's vlog. Gun edited it. Edited it? That's such a weird word to say. Um, he edited it. And um, now I'm going over and making any final changes if needed. And yeah, so you guys should see this in a couple of hours. Okay, I realize how weird this is, but I'm an adult and I've decided that I'm going to have a fucking midday Sunday bath because I'm sore as fuck from the gym yesterday. So I'm gonna have an Epsom salt bath mixed with some random decapitated bear thing that Lush sent me. Thanks Lush, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure it'll make it bubbly. I decided to put on some of that white clay mask on my problem areas as well, I thought I may as well. Um, and dry those zits out, you know. Um, I'm also going to be reading Daughter of the Empire in the bath today. Um, it's a book that was recommended to me by my friend Jeff, um, Glenn's drummer in their band, for those of you who didn't know. Um, the back says, Enter the mysterious world of Kelly Wan, where Mara of the Akoma must protect her honor, her people, and the ruthless game of the council from the imagination of two of fantasy's greatest names comes a magnificent epic of hero adventure and dynastic struggle. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's definitely like fantasy, maybe borderline sci-fi. I don't know. Strong woman characters though, apparently. So we'll see how it goes. That bath there though. It's like major storming outside. Um, phone started storming as soon as I got out of the bath. I'm still really fucking sore. I think I'm going to do some stretches downstairs and hope that I'm not as sore afterwards. And book update. I read about 60 pages-ish. Um, it's pretty good so far. It's a little bit predictable, only for the sake of, I think that it's just trying to introduce characters and introduce the storyline, and I can kind of guess what's going to happen with that, but I think if I get a little bit further in, it'll become a little bit more, like, entwined into the story, so it should be good. I'm excited to see where it kind of goes. singing bowl. You guys probably saw me use it at the very beginning of my practice. Um, I love my singing bowl for many reasons. Um, I like using it as a meditational tool. I like using it at the beginning of a yoga practice. 
Um, typically at the start of a practice, I need to get in the zone, you know, and just really hone into that exact moment and being present. And I really think that using something like a singing bowl or um, if you're in a class when everyone does a big ohm all together, I, I really like that because it just grounds you, I guess is lack of better words. There's a male and female side to the stick and you hold the bowl flat in your palm and using a stiff wrist but kind of a light grip on the stick you can go counterclockwise or clockwise but i go counterclockwise holding the stick vertical you start to circle the bowl and if it starts to chatter like that go a little bit slower and press into the bowl a little bit harder Obviously there's tons of different techniques and tons of different things that you can do with singing bowls, but that is how I use mine. Um, you can obviously like do the stirring bit for as long as you want. Um, I don't know, I do mine until it just gets to a really good resounding sound. And then you kind of exit as you flick your wrist, I guess, kind of, and then it rings out and I don't know, it just, it makes my heart happy. <laughs> and this is the male sound. Anywho, now I'm going to watch some That 70s Show, because I love that show, and make some dinner. I'm gonna put some sweet potato in the oven, and I'm gonna make a packet of these. For a sauce, I've used tahini, about maybe two tablespoons of it, a tablespoon of hummus, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, um, what else do I put in here? A clove of garlic, I'm gonna chuck in a squirt of this Bragg's all-purpose seasoning, and a little bit of pure lemon juice. And you basically just adjust as you go. Um, pretty much flavor to your liking. And then you can just add water to thin if you need to. All right, so I taste tested and I'm going to add a bit of black pepper and a little tiny bit of maple syrup just for a little bit of sweetness and blend it up again. So my sweet potatoes are done, my lentils are done. I have a grated zucchini because I needed to use it up so I thought I may as well just chuck it in here. Um, some red onion and some mushrooms and I'm gonna put that into a frying pan just with a little bit of um, oil and fry that up just a little bit. This has been in the pan for maybe two minutes, not even a minute and a half. I'm gonna shut the pan off and add it to this pan over here, and by pan, I mean bowl. Um, I have the lentils and the sweet potatoes, and I'm gonna mush everything together. And then I rinse the pan and put it back on the stove. The stove is off though, by the way. Um, I'm gonna put about two to three tablespoons of coconut oil in here, and um, just the heat of the pan existing will probably melt that. But while that is getting ready to go, I'm just gonna let this cool and I'm just gonna mush it all together. So I had to transfer it to a smaller bowl so I could fit it in the freezer because I'm gonna cool it down and then once I cool it down, I'm going to add spices and form it into little patties. So I've cut up some lettuce and some cucumber and plated everything and now I just have to add the lentil patties. Yum! Okay, for spices, I'm using a bit of turmeric, some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, and some herb salt. Now this is totally optional, but you could use an egg like I am, or an egg replacer, and it's just gonna hold everything together when you're frying. So I'm gonna crack it in and mix it around. And so this is my little production line. The lentil and sweet potato dish, a little bit of breadcrumbs, and a clean plate. And so I'm gonna ball this up into my hands, and then cover it in crumbs, and then put it on the plate. So I made a couple patties, I'm heating up the pan and the oil, and I also have a little bit of paper towel on the cutting board, just so that I can get rid of any excess oil after I've fried these. Once they've browned for a few minutes, you can flip them, and be careful flipping them because the oil is hot. And I get the sides done by pushing them all in a corner, and then putting the oil and tilting the pan, just like that, so that the oil gets the sides of them. Kind of like deep frying, but with like coconut oil, I guess. Not super healthy, but I do try and get the majority of the oil off with the paper towel afterwards. Not bad once in a while. And once they're done, place them on the paper towel and chuck some more paper towel on top and just gently press. And I'm just gonna leave them sitting there for a couple minutes just so that the oil gets soaked up and there's not a ton of oil inside of the patties. 
So this is what the patty looks like when it's all finished. And I'm gonna wrap up the extra ones, put them in the fridge, and save them for lunches for the next few days. And this is what it looks like plated on the salad with the dressing. Um, Glenn and I usually like to have one and we share one, so one and a half on top of the yummy salad. And we're having wine, and we are going to have the Shiraz from Annie's Lane, Claire Valley. It's really yummy. So that's our dinner. Yum! I put in some sleepy tea, because I just feel like tea, but I'm gonna have to pee all night long, but oh yeah, so worth it. When we watch two episodes, I feel like we're having like a big night. <laughs> Party animal. Woo! So pathetic, oh my god. <laughs> it's the bedtime, come on, dog. You need to do wee first? Okay, it's raining though, you're gonna hate it. She wouldn't go outside in the back because it's raining and she's a little bitch when it comes to going out in the rain. All right, you go wee outside the front. Winning. Good girl. Now I'll give you a treat and then it's time for bed. Sweet dreams guys, lots of love, thanks for watching.